Hello everyone, and welcome back for our next episode in the Bioshock Infinite playthrough DLC's Burial at Sea. Episode one just concluded. You're right, that was actually a pretty short DLC. I've heard episode two is a little bit longer, but I have no clue where they're gonna go with this because what I've learned from you all from feedback is that episode one was basically Elizabeth taking care of the last Comstock that was like in the universe. I got a feeling we're gonna be picking up with Elizabeth and possibly with the little sisters in some fashion, but I don't know if I'm gonna be playing as Booker? Maybe I play as Elizabeth? I don't know. I don't know where this is gonna go, but I'm having a blast with it. And we are on the home stretch of all of our Bioshock playthroughs. If this is your first time finding the channel, welcome. Hope you have a fantastic time. And if you do have a great time, hope you even consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Without any further delay, let's find out where episode two picks up. It gave an option for a recap. So yeah, let's check this out. They told Previously. Me, son, you were born to do great things. They were right. Man, that seems like so long ago now when that happened. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. You think that's a child down there? She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. It's Ryan! Goddamn Andrew Ryan! Head to medical! Would you kindly oh get goodness. this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly oh yes, find would you kindly? kindly. Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Did that airplane crash, or was it hijacked? Oh, man. There ain't no Atlas, kid. The name's Frank Fontaine. <laughs> I had you built! I sent you up. I called you back, showed you what you was, what you was capable of! Even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed of. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. You, them. you gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. That was pretty cool. I like that. Where is it going to go from here? Sally! Sally, come out! She wasn't yours, Comstock. Elizabeth, I am so sorry. No, you're not. But you're about to be. That was a good cliffhanger. That was a really good cliffhanger. I think someone told me that there was about a five month gap between when episode one and episode two came out. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm probably gonna have to mute that section right there because the radio is gonna give me some copyright strike. Yes. Quel est votre nom? Elizabeth. Pour vous, Elizabeth. <gasps> she oh, finally no. made it to Paris. No, I, I, I couldn't. I, I can't accept. Je vous en prie, j'insiste. Oh. oh, thank you. I insist. Looks like a Disney princess or something. That's fun. <laughs> oh, I do play as Elizabeth. I'm getting away from the radio first things first. Oh, this is so cool. Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle. Bonjour. That is so cool. Check it out. It's like a paradise or something. So she managed to... Wow, all these people are painting. Yo, they're really good, too. Oh, my goodness. And they're all so friendly. What in the world? Okay, make a tray. OBS over there was looking right. Ah, <laughs> Wow. Bonne journée. Comment ça va, Elizabeth? I kind of half expect everything to fall apart here. Like, they're trying to make it look like a paradise. The birds. Everything's so perfect. Everyone's so friendly. I'm assuming I can't interact with... No. If we play this final game as Elizabeth, that would actually be really cool. I, I would love that. I just hope I don't have to like mute this whole section <laughs> due to due to mute because they're playing this everywhere. I'm sorry, Cassette. 
Next time, I promise. Ah, oh, dommage. <laughs> wow. Oh, here's a room building we can go in. So I did. Je peux vous vendre tous les livres que vous voulez, et pour pas cher en plus. Every book you, you could imagine. Innocence by Edith Wharton. Désolé, ma petite. Celui-là n'a pas encore été écrit. That has not been written yet. <laughs> Hey, look, it's the cat, and it's actually alive. Is that supposed to be the same cat we usually find, like, dead through everything? The Bellas files vignette of Paris pour le printemps. Printemps. Yeah, I have no clue. Wow, look at the beautiful garden back there and stuff, too. So this guy's like, look, if I don't have the book, it ain't been written yet. Bonjour. Just saying. Bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. Oh, they're out of. I kind of. I feel like I'm walking through one of those. Uh, oh, what was it? The. Um, oh, I forget where I was going with that train of thought. I got distracted by this puppy over here. Look at it. Is the puppy eating lasagna or is it bark? I mean, it's probably dog food, but still. It's a kitty cat. Okay, yeah, this has got to be... She's going to wake up or something. Or we're going to go through a tear to a different world where it's all falling apart. I mean, this is just like over-the-top paradise and bliss. Were there stairs leading down over here? There were, okay. Oh, I, mean, I know what I was going to say. I feel like I'm walking through the beginning of uh, Columbia again. How awesome is that? Oh, this totally has uh, Disney princess vibes all over it. <laughs> See, the bird of the ca or the cage, the bird or the cage. Yep, I remember making that choice. We can't get away from that song at all. I just, if that's a copyright song, boy, I'm screwed this whole beginning section yeah that's a big balloon talk to girl oh is that supposed to be a little sister Sally Sally oh oh no I told you it's all gonna fall apart so I did have some people you guys have been fantastic in the comment section trying to help me understand better what happened in Infinite and everything. And this picture right here just kind of reminded me of it. So I guess Comstock and Booker are the same person. And kind of the defining factor on if he became Comstock or Booker was if he accepted the baptism that took place. So they're the same person in the different realities. Now, I still have a ton of questions that I feel like they can't really answer with the rules that they had set up in Infinite. But as far as like the main story of kind of like what they were going for, there you guys have been fantastic. It really helped clarify some things. Uh, and so, yeah, anybody who's still confused, go back. Uh, there's Tyler and uh, DW. I think I even pinned one of the comments on uh, episode, I think it was the final episode of the Bioshock Infinite. Just read through there. Might help you kind of sort out some of what was being said. I think these are some of the different characters because that one right there almost looks like um, Fitzroy. Doesn't that kind of look like Fitzroy? Maybe that's Elizabeth with the short hair. This might be the bo both sides representing both sides of uh, Booker and Comstock. Hmm. Oh, and I bet that's supposed to be the floating city. Oh, man. Sally, wait! Oh, she dropped her little head. Oh boy, this don't look good at all anymore. Yo! Wait. It's looking more and more like Sally, Columbia stop. at the moment. Come back. <laughs> wow. Sally, where are you going? Come back. Oh! Sally, hold on! Come back. Deck of cards. Is that hinting at something? Lobotomy. Oh. Now, 
There's no way we get to the end of this and find out everything that happened in Infinite Episode 1 and Episode 2 was like all in Elizabeth's head, that she's just been in some hospital this whole time. That would be the craziest, craziest twist ever. There's no way. There's no way they would do that. No way. Ugh. Oh, I walked on broken glass. Oh, I can't go in that room. Okay. There's a statue. Stop, stop. Man, the atmosphere is really awesome here. This looks so good. She go? Booker to it. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, turn it down. Turn it down. Oh, we break something. I guess it's too late. Oh, oh you freaky little girl. It wasn't my fault. I didn't do anything. No. 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 It wasn't my fault. Leave me oh, alone. my gosh. I never should have left. I never should have left you there. Whoa. Did she used to be a little sister or something? Is that what they're kind of getting at? Oh, there's dead Comstock. Oh, no. Empty. <laughs> Again. Lonnie. What are the odds? Is this just What's some the random? Just having a bit of a laugh. Reckless. This ain't a sporting event. Put a bullet in her. No need to torture the poor girl. We're not animals, you know. All right, all right. Let her go! Quiet down, dear. In a minute, all your problems will be over. Elizabeth, tell him you can get him back. Booker? I don't understand. I can get, say, I can get you back to Rapture. What? Just say it. I can get you back to Rapture. Put the gun down. Now, what was that you said about Rapture? I can get you back to Rapture. And how you plan on doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? Su Chong. What? Tell him Su Chong. Su Chong. And how do you know that slant, I'd wonder? You're his lab assistant. I'm his lab assistant. If it escaped your notice, Andrew Ryan sunk us 5,000 fathoms below his shining city. How does Su Chong propose to get us back? That's between me. That's between me. And the slant. And the slant. But if I do this, the girl goes with me. Little sisters are worth their weight in gold. She's not up for negotiation. Last time I checked, Back in the city, they were making little sisters by the dozen. That's a right fairy tale you've dreamed up, sister. But if you're lying, we can just as well kill you tomorrow. Down here, we got nothing but time. In case I need to get hold of you. If you see Su Chong, tell him. Atlas says he hasn't forgotten him. Oh! <laughs> the caption down there says punch. Elizabeth. Come on, it's time to get moving. Booker? Booker? What? Over here, on the radio. You're not Booker. Well, of course I ain't. What have I gotten myself into? I didn't orphan that girl. I didn't kidnap her. She made for some exceptional bait, didn't she? Pick up the doll head. Had to be done. Did it? I felt everything that every version of me felt. All of that knowledge. I lost a pinky, but that version of me, she lost everything. In Comstock. That final Comstock, he thought he could avoid his guilt by coming here. You educated him proper. But then why am I back here? Huh? I don't remember opening a tear to come back. 
And who are you? Huh? I think you'll figure that out soon enough. Okay. What in the world? The setup to this thing is fantastic. Okay? I love that. We're going we're gonna throw that out there right now. So this is obviously So she almost makes it sound like she left. If I'm understanding that right, I should have never left you. She almost makes it sound like she left. But she's been brought back to where we were in episode one because this is the comp stack that she made sure died at the end of that episode. But I was under the impression almost like Sally wasn't real at the end of episode one. That it was kind of like in Comstock's head that he was remembering he'd actually killed Sally. But then they found a Sally at the beginning of this. Now, she was also in that room. You know, she was circling around and all those little sisters were <laughs> being, being burned or whatever. My first thought was, oh no, is she seeing realities where they actually did not rescue her out of the vent? Like, some of them they got to her in time, but a lot of them they didn't. I didn't know maybe that's what they were hinting at there, but man. <laughs> I'm so confused, but I love it. Okay, uh, let's take a look here. Exit the toy department. We still have... Ooh, crossbow tranquilizer. Radar range. Wait a second. Okay, we don't have any weapons or anything yet. Uh, I'm curious if this is going to pick up where we left off in the last one. Or if we are literally starting over like with our attachments and weapons and plasmids and all that kind of stuff. Because if so, I almost don't even know why they had an upgrade system in the last one. It was so short. Wow. It's kind of cool hearing, you know, Elizabeth walking as my character versus, you know, my normal thing. Okay. Must be a way to... Can I just jump over this ledge? What happens if I go up to the vent? Anything? No. I must just jump right over this thing somehow. No? What am I missing? Can't go in there. I can't jump up here. I thought this door back here looked busted too. Mm. Yep, it busted. Look at all these scrape marks. Can I jump? I feel like that jump would hurt me though if I actually did get over that. Find the marsh, the mushroom. Okay. Uh, this is odd. I didn't expect. Oh, this is glowing. Why is this? Can I push it? Climb the wreckage. <laughs> okay. First time I've ever seen that as a an option. That took. That definitely was not something I was expecting. Can I climb just Paris, anything? I, I was happy. And now I'm here dealing with this Atlas, this, this psychopath. What was I thinking? I wasn't Paris any more than I am Booker. Now I have to find this, this Su Chong, and I don't even know who that is. Not yet, but you know he's the key, don't you? To what? You're asking me. Elizabeth, I ain't even here. Oh, this is... They're doing a good job making everything seem super confusing right up front. Now, as long as they answer the questions, I'm okay with that. I like crazy, twisty stories. One of my favorite things are things I can't predict. But what I don't like is when there's no answer. You know, being, being silly, crazy, and twisty just for silly, crazy, twisty steak. You know what I mean? As long as they give me an answer or a reason... I like it. I did notice the giant blimp right there. That's cool. Kind of a little callback to some of the previous ones. Okay. 
move rubble. How, what are you? Huh? And how did you know exactly what to tell Atlas? Let me ask you a question. You feel like yourself, Elizabeth. I, I feel... I feel strange and smaller. I, I can't see the doors. What's behind the doors? I, I can't see the future. I can't even see any tears. Ugh. Oh my god. Stay away from me. No, no, please, please don't. I died here. I was killed what? by it. Stay away from me! But then, how am I here? How can I be dead in this world and yet... No! My finger. What am I? Huh? I don't understand. I, I... If we're going to end up in the same place, I don't see the harm. Are you being cute? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? If we're going to end up in the same place, I don't see the harm in enjoying the ride. Are we heading out to a lighthouse? Because there's always a lighthouse. Oh my gosh. I can't believe Elizabeth got killed right after we did by that big thing. At least our Elizabeth. So this is a different Elizabeth. Or it may not even be an Elizabeth at all. It could be a completely different character that we just... Because just because she had a bloody nose doesn't mean she was the bloody nose because of Elizabeth, right? Although that's probably not the case. Okay, yeah, let's leave the boat. Wow, You're they trading were. omniscience and croissants for death and mildew. I left Sally to rot. For what? So I could punish Comstock? He was trying to help her, to save her, and I... If I don't make that right... We all have our crosses to bear. But there is a thin line between a martyr and a fool. She left Sally there to rot? The way she said that just didn't even sound like Elizabeth. Like, personality-wise. Lutesses warned me that if I came back here, I would collapse. Collapse? From a, a, a quantum superposition to just me. A uh, quantum what? I've changed, Booker. No tears, no cosmic knowledge. Just a normal girl. With a normal pinky. Peter, it, if I can't open tears, I, I'm never leaving here, am I? I'm never going back to Paris. You and you, you're just you. You're just what? You, you're you're just the fragments of my memory telling me what my future holds. You decided to come here, Elizabeth. You knew what that meant. Only option, as I see it, is to trust yourself. Find Su Chong. <laughs> I had some people tell me, oh, just you wait. The DLCs get real trippy. I kind of expected playing as Elizabeth might be a character as a possibility. I did not expect to find out I was actually dead at the very beginning. And that Booker's talking to me as my subconscious. Oh, where's this go go? Oh, I love this. So many possibilities. So... So she's dead. Now, look at the lighting. My goodness, that is fantastic. I love this. 
But part of me wondered. It's like if snipping her pinky off in another world is all that was needed to keep so that she could make tears of her own. I'm kind of curious that the Lutesses or Comstock himself didn't pursue that in some fashion, like snip a little piece of themselves off in another world so that then she could, they could do that as well. I feel like if that's all it would take, then, uh, you know, they would have pursued that just because of the power that would come with it. Wow. I'm loving this. This is fantastic. Some floor materials are louder than others. Water and broken glass you are the You can't judge a man only okay. by I think I'm going to have to use this air grabber. has got to come into account. It's going to be messy. I don't know. If well, a blow to the back of his head will serve just as well. Be a hell of a lot quieter, too. And that's not what you would have done. I'm not Booker. Just because your father did something one way doesn't mean you have to. Oh, look at the rat. He had something in the back of his head? Oh, it's just a bat on his back. Okay. Just drinking the water right off the ground. I guess they'd be thirsty. Wow. Where is this going? Why is my vision kind of... Oh, it's because I'm squatted. Okay. Okay. Carpets muffle the sound of movement. Oh, do I need to, like, sneak up on this person? I think that's what they're getting at here. You'll want to get the drop on him, and quiet. Shh. He can't hear what's only in your head. V. Ooh! <sighs> He's not getting up anytime soon. And what with his head all attached to his body? From here on, it's only gonna get worse. And how much worse is up to you. Okay, so she's got this now. Now, do I have... Nope, I don't have anything else. Okay. No power swing, it looks like. Almost sounds like somebody's sleeping. Oh, I knocked him out. Okay, I didn't kill him. Ryan, the lion reminds you. Parasites are never welcome. He's got a little fairy tale. <laughs> this has very much a rapture vibe, more than the previous one did. That's for sure. Uh -oh. That black label lock is the twelve year old single malt. Let's discuss this like men. Is there two of them? Henry! Oh. Now let's get his lock back. Okay, got that. I want to check around here before we pick that door. That's so funny. He's got his own. It's like a children's place down here. Money. And tater chips, because I'm only half full on my health. Whoops. Can I hit a ball? Oh, ooh. Not very gentle with those, is it? Okay. Oh, check out the vent. That's different. It doesn't matter how you play, it matters how you win. Oh my gosh, that totally sounds like Ryan. <gasps> did I move? Okay, I did move it. Hey, you can hit the basketballs. I wonder if you can score a point. Ooh, don't mind if I do. We're gonna, we're gonna try. What did that say? Fountain toys. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna try. I feel like that, since it pops up so high, I almost feel like it's something we can maybe do. Okay, gotta line up the shot. Uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> that was actually pretty close. Okay, I won't spend a whole episode trying to make a basket. Oh, I got stuck. Ooh. Ooh, looky here. Well, I broke the game. Uh, press C while airborne to land a to land quietly in a crouch. Oh my goodness! 
is stealth gonna be like a big mechanic of this game? I wonder if I'm not gonna get like a lot of weapons and stuff. I wonder if that's, oh, that would be a big change if that's the case. Corner of shame. I will not share my toys. I will not. <laughs> they got in trouble for sharing their toys. Ryan, you jerk. Today's art lesson. Draw a parasite. You met today. Miss Turner. Daddy's girlfriend. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Ryan really was training him up, wasn't he? I was trying to see if there's like some kind of Easter egg or, or word or something hidden in that. It don't look like it. Okay. Guess we can go in here now. Oh, have they changed it? Lock picking can be easy with the right tools and know-how. Use your lock pick to probe a pin. A neutral pin will open the door. A blue pin will open the door and knock free a noisemaker. A red pin will open the door, but also sound an alarm. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm used to her it's normally doing that. Just a six pin tumbler. That is so cool looking. But there's an alarm. Huh. I could come in handy though. Press F to probe a neutral pin and open the lock. A red pin will open the lock, but also sound an alarm. That looks really awesome, but I am like, I don't, oh, there it is. Okay. So the red, the alarm can be helpful. Okay. So I can just pick. I'm kind of curious why I would, well, I'm sure I'll come up with a scenario later where sounding the alarm might be nice. Lions of the week. Michael Ramsey, Oliver Hong. Oh, finally, here we go. To use a med kit, press G. Oh, I gotta do that manually now, huh? The number in the top left corner indicates how many med kits you currently have. Wow, okay. Well, there's, they've definitely changed some things up from episode one, that's for sure. I'll get a little closer so we can hear that a little better. Something about bake a pie. If I earn a nickel, isn't it my right to buy candy if I see fit? No, says Peter the Parasite. You must only buy fruits and vegetables. <laughs> if I can afford to see the doctor, is it my concern that others cannot? No, says the damnable Parasite. We must all crowd our way into the physician's office. Ryan the Lion says, Ryan the Chew lion. on that, you parasite. <laughs> oh, look at that. Ryan the Lion. It just kind of rolls off the tongue, don't it? Okay. All young entrepreneurs need their arithmetic. Hello, I'm Ryan the Lion. Mm. I'm here to tell well, how are you supposed to get a parasite. 11? If I bake a pie, over there. Isn't it mine to enjoy? Four, one, no, says Peter two. The parasite. We all deserve a piece. Hmm. If I earn a nickel, can I? Can I? No, I can't interact with that. Right to buy candy if I see this is wild. No, says Peter the parasite. Okay, Ryan the lion always shoot to kill. Can I? Hmm. Uh. Nope. Okay. Wasn't sure if there was something I could actually do here. I guess I could stand up. I don't, I'm not hearing anybody talking. Empathy for weak people is for... Theater? Is that what that... No. Is for the unfit. Not a value. Drags you down. Is for parasites. Is stupid. Not positive. Not a virtue. Communism is a shame. Outdated. A mistake not cool not good delusion hypocrite a lie to the people property theft stupid okay okay this is what it actually does it feels like a classroom that ryan would actually have created that's for sure 
wants to train him up in the way he wants him. For the pacification of disruptive children. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh, crossbow. Are you sure you're ready to use that? It's a crossbow. Looks like the bolt delivers some kind of sleep agent. Probably fencyclidine or sodium thiopental. <laughs> they had all kinds of books in my tower. How do you think I always knew what ammo to toss you? No one. Ain't the same as being ready. Why don't you ask Comstock how ready I was? Your father's blood runs in your veins, but it doesn't have to be on your hands. And what does Ryan you. Ryan warn us? Okay, a stealthy approach is safer and more effective. Efficient. Sneak up on foes and perform a melee attack to knock them out. If you're spotted, get out of sight and keep quiet. Oh my goodness, this is actually those really who cool. Do not create will always steal from those who do. What that's a cross or Who actually got some money? Do you know this word? Where's she at? Empathy. You'll find it in the dictionary. Cross uh crowbar. -E. Half life baby. What does Ryan the Lion tell us about the tragedy of the commons? Oh. Oh, I see a lot of marks. That must mean she's she hears somebody. Share and share alike while he eats your lunch. I'm gonna try to do as, as stealthy as I can. Peter the Parasite says worship God above. Ryan the Lion points at the clouds and okay. sees nothing. I know where she's air. going. Oh, I'm gonna get her. Ooh. Ugh. So is the whole goal of Elizabeth, she's gonna be like trying not to kill anybody? Is that kind of her strategy in this? Dude, let's eat something. You're against a guy making an honest buck. I thought Rapture was open for business. Was it now? Where's he at? If they want this, oh, I can like search these. If stealth is going to be a big option, I sure hope they do a good job with the sound directions, because they were not very good in um, episode one. I could not tell where Elizabeth was if she wasn't standing right next to me. He almost sounds like he's upstairs. Okay, let's go check these bodies. I thought he was in this room, that's why I was kind of waiting a second. Determined, uncompromising, then fine. The shoe fits, you got me. Hmm. Okay. I got hand can hand cannon ammo. Is that gonna be something Oh, I gotta grab these darts individually, okay. I can't take the crowbar. That sucks. Ooh, something shiny. Hey, there's there's some money here. I can go in the vent? Okay, that I didn't expect. I was just trying to reach this. Okay, not yet. That's good to know, though. Oh. Yuck. Okay, here it is. Okay, to access all... Uh, holdy, okay. Hey, look at that. Kind of like the idea of using this. So I love crossbows. I think that's such a fun weapon in video games. Okay, so we got a couple vents over there. First, the law gets bribery. Then, you'll want some belly in my privy advising how I defecate. Uh. I knew he was the last one, so I went for it. Enemies take more damage when they're unaware of your presence. Well, good. Okay, I should be able to stand up and walk around now, right? It's looting time. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. This is wild. The atmosphere definitely feels more like the principal's office. Rapture City. But the gameplay mechanics, I don't know. This is very different. Mm -hmm from what we had before. I'm really liking it so far, though. Uh, proper discipline, official procedure, for problem children use the possession, use of possession, 
is advised. Oh. And I can't just create a tear to get one, can I? Okay. I wonder if in the first one, episode one, if they were hoping people would use the melee weapon and do more of a stealth route through that. That's why they were so stingy with the ammo. But they realized, like, nobody was getting that hint. I clearly didn't get it. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to try to be as stealthy as I can through this. That's, that sounds like a fun change. Okay, health is full, so I'll leave that there. I'm going to crawl up into that vent. It looks like I might just go down one side and come out the other. So it might just be like some supplies or something back there. All right. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm liking this so far, that's for sure. So we got Ryan, the visionary. Tenenbaum, the biologist. Oh man, they didn't like her here either, did they? Here's a rapture. Cohen, the artist. He was, he was kind of weird. Uh. Oh, that that must be Shuchan or whatever his name is. I bet that's a scientist or something. Okay. Let's let's check this out. Wow. That goes right back. Okay, so there is it is taking me somewhere else. Man, this has Half-Life vibes too. All the vents we're crawling through. We got a crowbar laying out here on the ground. What's up with that? Okay, well. That was very uneventful. Literally. See, there was a vent in here, wasn't there? Didn't I see a vent in one of these other rooms and I was like, ooh, look at that. I didn't know I could climb into it. I want to see if I can. Unless that was the vent that I saw. Still sleeping, dude? Ah, there it is. Hey, I can't go in. I want to see what's in here. So I wonder if Elizabeth will use plasmids or not. Yeah. <laughs> Found a little bit of money. Okay. It wasn't as exciting as I was hoping, but still. It was cool to find. Wow. Dude, this crossbow looks good, too. All right. Ryan the lion. He would be proud of me going back there and checking like that. I'm sure of it. There's no free lunch. <laughs> There's no free lunch. Oh. Oh, I wonder if I could have just been up here to do... Ooh, looks like there might be something over there. Yep, I can jump across here. Uh, up there. Oh my god. Oh, a med kit. That's right. I'm going to be carrying these now. I don't have to use them right away. More trank darts. Oh. Oh, I missed that vent because I didn't realize that was going up. I thought that went just straight into the other room. Okay. Well, I found another way to it. I'm glad I got that, though. Yeah, Ryan ain't going to give away no free lunches. Huh. Okay, so if I'm crouched when I walk off, I'll stay crouched when I land. And it's a nice, quiet landing. Okay. Is there a map by any chance? Nope. No map. I hear something. Oh, that's where I came in at. Got myself all turned around with all that backtracking I did. Okay. Makers and takers. Man, the noises here are kind of freaky, aren't they? There's Ryan. I'll take that dollar out of the purse. Well, they're definitely still being stingy with the money. No free lunch. Look, Suchong. That's the name you had me tell Atlas. Huh. I don't follow. 
Looks like this character Su Chong has taken over the Silverfin restaurant. That's... that's where the tear was that I used when I first came to Rapture looking for Comstock. Before this place was turned into a prison. But the first time you came to Rapture was in 1960, with Booker. When you drowned Song... Over a year from now. Yeah, that... that that's right, I... When I could see all the doors, it all, it all made sense, but no... No, it's, it's just a jumble. Elizabeth, you're, you're bleeding. Now I know what it feels like. <laughs> all right. right. If we're going to find Su Chong, the Silverfin is the place to start. I know the way. Yep, but you're not an on-your-own NPC anymore. You're not going to guide me there. I got to find it. Okay, I don't hear anybody here, so we're going to check it out. Okay, need to know theater. Let's see if this makes any more sense than the little projector things we watched in episode one. Those were absolutely confusing. Free men and free markets. Are you in the know? There has been a lot of idle talk from gadflies and naysayers following the nationalization of Fontaine Futuristics. I believe in free men and free markets. But I also believe in my city. And Frank Fontaine's purpose was nothing less than the destruction of Rapture. It was he who gave comfort to the laggards and layabouts. It was he who coddled the traps and vagabonds. Fontaine was poisoning the people of Rapture. But his venom wasn't made of arsenic or strychnine, no. It was concocted from something far deadlier. It was brewed from altruism. Now you know. Oh my goodness. Oh, heard somebody talking all of a sudden. Okay, let's see. Not sure I can buy anything. Oh, I can buy a lockpick. Okay. Don't need to buy anything just yet. Closed by order of Dr. Shuchan. Yo. Elevator's busted. We are going to have to find another way. Looks like there's any loot to be had here. It's not looking like it. Ah ha ha. A dollar. My goodness, they're being so stingy here. Appetite for sin, see the temptations of Rapture through the eyes of a Midwest girl. Rapture's man of steel. He works hard and plays harder. Big Daddy. Look at him, he's like all ripped. <laughs> That's what I looked like under my suit. I knew it. Because, you know, it's a, it's a representation of what I look like as well. You know, you guys only see me from about here up, but... Uh, you're ever curious. Kind of put my head right there. That's 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 me. No. Okay. Sex without compromise. What? Oh no. Are you in the know? We're about to be. Human reproduction is vitally important to society, but there is no reason that the act of copulation cannot be pleasurable as well. Remember these tips. Oh no. Sex is egotistical. Without self-esteem, those participating in coitus are revealed to be fraudulent, hypocritical animals. Coitus. Ego is indispensable in the bedroom. Negotiate with your mate. Intercourse can be mutually beneficial to both parties. <laughs> Set out expectations with your partner beforehand, outlining the services you will provide one another. Right and the hold cup. them to their side of the deal. Never forget, oral contracts and handshake deals are for starry-eyed gigolos. Always get it in writing. <laughs> your pleasure is your business. Remember, you come first. Nobody's going to keep an eye on your pleasure except you. Don't be left oh high gosh. and dry. Armed with this knowledge, go forth now and enjoy Sexual Congress the Rapture Way. Now you wow. know. Now we know. Get it in writing. That's the rapture way. Lift door? Oh, wow. 
that's creative. Gender bender. Okay, uh, I want to see if maybe one of these other doors are liftable as well. Uh, you'll know they're they're there. Alarm systems. See, line. That's where we came in. That's the academy. Okay, so nothing to do there. I want to see if by some chance we can lift this one also. Well, I guess it's an elevator. It says I can. But do we want to use an elevator with a busted door? Oh, it's picked. It's it's locked. Okay, so I might need to buy a pick so I can get into that. Okay, those are the only two doors, so we'll proceed this way. This here as well. Right after I came through, I needed I needed something to wear that was a little more rapture appropriate. Mother, may I? That's a little more rapture appropriate. It's never too late for an education. The pearly gates. Below decks. <laughs> that would be the outfit I would choose. That's hilarious. Wow. He didn't have these books in my tower. No? That looks kind of familiar, though. I feel like we've seen that in something. Liberation from Fathoms Below. Meet Chris, whose sexuality knows no boundaries. That's funny. They really did go out on these books, didn't they? Okay, those we've seen. There's Big Daddy. Anything we pick up here? No? Okay. Seen all those. Seen those. Farmer's Daughter. Yep. Oh, what we got here? Oh, our first diary here. Press J to play. I'm going to see if I can... Okay, we can't do it from here. Antonio. Hey, madam. I have received your letter regarding our new line of peeping tom plasmids and wish to respond thusly. Tough luck. This is rapture, <laughs> miss. What my customers do with my product is their business. If you are feeling uncomfortable, you are more than welcome to line the walls of your home in lead. If you wish, I could direct you to a reputable supplier. Oh my gosh, Peeping Tom Plasmid. That's so funny. I don't know if I even want to step. Oh, do I want to pick a wallet up off the floor of one of these rooms? It's only got a dollar in it, too. Let make. Oh, yep, it did make the glass sound. Okay, anything over here? Oh, yep. Hey, we found some Eve, even though we don't have anything that uses them yet. I'm gonna get the, I wonder if it's so I can like see enemies through walls or something. Turn every room into a peep show. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, let's pick it. Uh I'm kinda curious to see what how an alarm would be beneficial. Let's try it here. Oh! No, that was not beneficial. Okay. Well, good to know that that might be a thing. What? Oh, I can't go through that door? So... Uh... Oh, I, I can't use that yet. I do have a hand cannon, I guess, but... I got three bullets. I don't think that's going to be enough to take that thing out. Oh, wow. She takes a while to load. Okay. I guess we're going... I'm going to go up there and try to melee it. I'm going to see if... Uh, see if he goes back to sleep. Oop. Oh! Oh, G for medkit. Okay, this is not working. Um... She's just, she's just smacking it. That's not going to do anything. I'm just going to die. Good. Finish me off. That was stupid. Oh no, it's still here? 
And what now becomes of the girl? A burial at sea, I suppose. I was referring to the child. Why well, ask questions you don't wish to hear the answer to? You mean... Enslavement, exploitation, extermination. There must be some hope for her. If it helps you to believe so, brother, then I shall not be the one to disillusion you. Do what? Okay, did it put me back right? Okay, this is what I was kind of thinking. Put me here. Well. Okay. Right after I came through, I needed, I needed something to wear that was a little more rapture appropriate. Okay. Oh, I missed that first time. All right. So, good to know about the alarm. But did you see that? All she was doing was like smacking it with this thing from the side. She wouldn't even like swing at it. Was my only option to just like run? That stinks. Well, I kind of learned it the hard way, but at least I learned it, I guess. Yeah, we already listened to you. Employees only. Okay. We're going to pick this thing the, the... I can't think of a situation. I thought this would be safe because I was like, I don't see anybody around. So I want to see what the alarm does. I didn't realize it was going to like bring up turrets. Point. There we go. I'm glad there's some form of hacking back. I always enjoyed the hacking side of things. Okay, well we're gonna grab this. <laughs> Disappear from sight. See through walls. And sneak up on your foes. <laughs> yep, stealth is definitely Oh Splicers. I could use this plasmid and see them through the walls. Force comes to wars, turn completely invisible and get the drop on them. Okay. While standing still to see enemies through walls. Hold the right mouse button while Peeping Tom is equipped to see... To become silent and invisible. You don't have my permission to leave. Okay. Oh, it keeps draining. Oh, good to know. Where'd you go? Uh. I wonder if there's an achievement for like a certain number of uh, oh, right in the head, silent takedowns. What did you mean before when you said you were in Paris? It wasn't really Paris. It was more. It was more the world as I want to see it. I suppose I wasn't really happy there. We'd all be better off, us to wits, if we could leave well enough alone. I don't really have an Eve bar anymore, it looks like. I'm hearing something. Oops. Thank you. Why would I want to open this from the other side? Is it so I can, like, run this way if I need to? Okay. Here, here, here. Hey. There you are. That's my dress. Okay, first I want to see what all we can pick up. Is that? Oh, we got something here. Are these openable? Uh, search the chocolate box. It's empty. They ate all the chocolates. What jerks? Okay, here we go. Who is that? The blue dress. Carol Lynn. How many times have I asked Antonio for lockers with actual locks on them? <laughs> I come back from lunch and the ensemble I just bought is gone. Stolen. But here's what takes the cake. The thief left an outfit in exchange. At first I was going to toss that thing. But then I kind of fell in love with it. <laughs> It's an old timey number with a corset, no less. It ain't exactly today's fashion, but I'm a girl who can tell good craftsmanship when she sees it. <laughs> so Elizabeth swapped outfits. That's fun. That's kind of funny. They don't give you the option to put it back, but you don't see your character, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, put it back on is what I was going to say. Okay, that was interesting. All right, I guess we're going to go through the elevator door now. 
I don't think there's anything else to do through here. That was really weird, though, the way the Lutesses were talking there because I died. I don't know if that's just a loading screen or if that's going to be different each time I die, depending on where I die. That's what I'm wondering. Can I hook on anything? Mm. Oh. Boom! Listen to that racket. Damn air grabber must be busted. My grabber's busted? Oh, you don't always get your dart back. That's why I used it. I thought I always got the dart back if I hit him. Oh my goodness, look at that leg. Ouch. And she's just sleeping right through it. Alright. Lift the door. There was no big painful animation, too, when Elizabeth took on that, that plasma. I wonder if that's going to be a thing at all. Alright. Ooh! The save icon just picked up, and we are at one hour. This is perfect. So this is where we'll pick up on the next episode. I gotta say, I am absolutely loving the way episode two is starting. It definitely, definitely feels more like Bioshock 1 and its atmosphere and everything right now. Very confused on the story. I'm excited to see where this is going to go. And it looks like stealth is going to be a big part of this, which is kind of cool. I like that change. We'll see how that continues to play out. But until next time, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on that next one.